weather coming. Yeah, we got cold weather and coming. And boy, we got a lot to talk about, so let's get to it. When's yeah. it happening first? Well, Tuesday is when it's happening. I guess the snow falls, but I think the impacts will go well into Wednesday, kind of like what we're going to see right here. This was from northwest Arkansas. This is the same storm system that's heading our way. They got about an inch or two of snow, but they also got the big time cold that we were expecting, icy roads, a mess up there. That's all headed this way tomorrow. The same sort of impacts for a good 24, 36, and possibly 24 hour period. So, a weather alert day for Tuesday and Wednesday. Let's get right to it. A winter weather advisory in effect for everybody. If you're watching this right now, you will see impacts from Tuesday to Wednesday. Now, the actual snowfall we think will be confined to basically Tuesday late morning into the afternoon hours, but it's what happens after that that we're really concerned about. We'll get to that in a second. Really nice day. We, we saw earlier temperatures in the 50s this afternoon, 50 degrees right now in Birmingham. But if you remember back in 2014, right before that terrible winter storm that crippled central Alabama, temperatures were in the 50s. So it's kind of setting up to be a carbon copy. Not exactly, but still pretty closely mirrors what we had to deal with back in 2014. Here's a future cast. The snow moves in early morning into our northwestern counties continues to move down to the south and east. This will be a northwest to southeast oriented line of snow showers. But like we said, this isn't going to be a heavy snowfall event most likely. It will continue to move down to the south and east through the evening time hours and most of the snow will be done by say 7 to 8 o'clock with possibly some snowfall down to the south and east of I-85. But how much could we get? Everyone wants to know how much is my town going to get? Most of us, if you're listening to us right now, you're going to get anywhere from half an inch to an inch of snow, maybe a dusting down to the south and east, a little bit heavier potential for folks in the north and west, maybe one to two and possibly even three inches of snow. But like we said, it's not going to be the amounts that we get. It's going to be what happens to the snow afterwards. Let's talk about snow arrival times, 5 to 8 a.m. in the extreme northwestern corner of our viewing area. 8 to 11 for folks in Lamar, Pickens, Fayette County, Walker County, Winston, Marion, Coleman County, and then the I-2059 corridor between 11 and 2 o'clock. Some of the major cities, Tuscaloosa, Birmingham, Gadsden, Anison, you're going to hold off until between 2 and 4, and then everybody south and east of that line from Clanton to, say, uh, Cleburne County, you're going to see the snow after 4 p.m. Temperatures, though, will be below freezing into the afternoon hours, and by 7 o'clock, we're in the 20s. This is what we're most concerned about. Anything that melts on the roads is going to refreeze very rapidly Tuesday night into Wednesday. We could see an ice rink for most of our major roads Wednesday morning into the afternoon hours because you see by the afternoon, highs only in the upper 20s and close to 30 degrees. So what are we expecting as far as travel concerns go? A mess, unfortunately. Snowfall will lead to slick roads tomorrow late morning and evening. The icy stuff doesn't happen until the evening into the early morning hours on Wednesday. So temperatures at or below freezing will keep the snow on the lightly traveled roads. But any snow that melts on, say, 280, I-65, I-59, and 20 is going to refreeze very quickly Tuesday night. That is going to lead to widespread icy conditions throughout Wednesday. An absolute mess. So be prepared. Snow is likely hazardous travel. Be where you're going to be Tuesday afternoon, possibly for 36 hours after that. Temperatures in the 30s. Temperatures will be a big story Wednesday, another weather alert day on Wednesday. We finally start to moderate things by Thursday and Friday with warmer temperatures close to 60 on Sunday. Jim?